Everything that we do in this life that has the most meaning comes with the most challenges. Living a meaningful life is hard. We all know that taking the easy way in anything doesn't deliver results. Starting a business is hard and stressful, yet doing it and dedicating yourself to it imbues your work and life with meaning. Exercising is hard, and plenty of times you don't feel like doing it. But everyone knows that doing it is worth it. And what is worth it is the question that you must ask yourself in this life. This clip from Jordan Peterson warns well why you might think twice about living a childless life. And if you're already a parent, it's a great reminder to refocus you. If you're a father and you have a clue and you have a new child, you are being offered the opportunity to establish the best relationship with anyone you've ever had in your life. And the person that you could establish that relationship with wants nothing more than that. So that's a hell of an offer. So then you can just imagine how bloody far we've walk, walked off any sort of reasonable pathway so that young people now look at that with dread. And so, and the fact that people can't understand that, they see that only as a burdensome, what, as, as a burden, it's so horrible because it also means that they don't see, they don't, they certainly don't see the best of what life has to offer. I also feel really sorry for young women. It's so perverse, you know, because most of the notion that women shouldn't be locked at home, let's say, barefoot and pregnant with their little kids, a tremendous amount of that comes from the left. And it's so weird to me because the leftist ideologues insist that women need to be freed to do what? To enter the corporate world. And I think, okay, well, I thought you guys were left wing. How did we get to the situation where it was obvious that what a young woman should do is prioritize her slavery to the capitalist endeavor in favor of being at home with her kids, especially when they're young? Now, I know I'm exaggerating to some degree, but, but it's so, we lie terribly to young men and we demoralize them, but the lies we tell young women are of a whole different order of magnitude. That the notion that career is going to be more important than anything else and that you should forego children for that I had a client, very high achieving um, lawyer, right? And she was very attractive person, very hardworking. Like she, she had, she was quite an admirable person. And then she had a baby and she, and she told me, she was quite funny. She said, well, I'd always sort of thought of children as like a fashion accessory up to this point, you know, as something else you added to your life. And she was absolutely dumbfounded at the degree to which she fell in love with her child. And she had a child pretty late, you know, and it just turned her love, life upside down. And you see, I saw this with women in law firms all the time is, you know, they were high performing career oriented women, and then they'd have a child and they'd think, oh, <laughs> nothing I ever did was nearly as significant as this. I'm not gonna sit here and paint a false vision of what having kids is like. My wife and I have five of them, and sometimes we look at each other and think like, what in the heck is going on right now? But that is life, and it's okay for things to be hard and challenging and stressful at times. No one is making anyone have kids or get married like no one makes you eat healthy or exercise. You should, but it's really on you and what type of life you want to live. You get one life, and the experience of having a child in this world changes you, like it literally changes your brain and how you see the world. You understand love of others in a totally different way. You gain a sense of purpose and responsibility, and source of fuel and motivation that you've never felt before. And you get to experience the closest relationships that this life has to offer. You don't know what you are capable of in this world until you have a child. Yes, it's that dramatic. There are not words to describe how it feels to hear your son or daughter say I love you, or run to you when you walk through the door, or when you watch them succeed at something, or when they need you for comfort, advice, or help. These moments go way deeper into you than money, career, or what people on the internet or in public think about you. Yeah, these are cool, but fleeting. And when it's all said and done, long term, your close relationships will be all that matter. And you sacrifice those at your own risk because time is ticking and all of us run out of it. You'd really rather fall for and get wrapped up in the ideologies of our modern world than experience what it's like in this life to have a son or a daughter. 
Do you really think that all of the garbage that we are fed these days has your best interests and your full potential in mind? Come on. Do not be conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Take on your role and purpose and live the life that God made you for. Discern truthfully what this is for you. It's the way to a life of meaning and fulfillment in a time where everyone is missing it.